Hello, I'm Dr. Gnita Rattan from the Hyperpigmentation Clinic. So, oh, sorry, this is just really hard to do with, without a tripod. But um, today is basically a vlog that I'm doing for you, like one day on holiday. Um, just to start the day, I've basically put my sunblock on, my sheer zinc Neutrogena, it's very white. I do look like I've got war paint on and it's just the only way to protect my skin from the sun. Um, so I'm just going for my jog. I'm literally halfway through my jog, which is why I'm sweating so much. <laughs> and um, I will record the next thing for you. But just to show you how gorgeous this place is. Ugh. Anyone that gets to exercise on the beach is just so lucky. So stay tuned for the rest of the day. <laughs> Okay, so I've just got back. I'm sweating. It is so hot outside. I'm about to have my ketone drink um, because I want to stay in a fasted state till about 1 or 2 o'clock. I finished eating yesterday at 8 p.m. and I like to eat in a six hour window and then fast for 18 hours. So yes, I'll show you what I do. So this is the one that I love. I like quite a few of the flavors, but this just means that I'm not increasing my insulin in my fasted state. Basically what the juice looks like. So this is the raspberry lemonade flavor. Okay, so I'm about to go uh, water skiing. Um, and as you can see, I've literally applied sunblock, like a white mask right here, exactly where I get my melasma. Um, and as you can see, I'm also starting to get a few blemishes. Um, so just a few marks. And that's going to happen purely because I'm sweating so much and plus I'm wearing physical sunscreen. Um, to be honest, any sunscreen is going to do it if you're, you know, sweating all day and you're exercising. Um, but it's really important with skin of colour, especially if you've got melasma, to make sure that you cover for melasma first because it's very easy for me to get rid of any bumps that have happened from clogged pores, but it's much, much harder to treat your pigmentation. So that's the one thing I'd say is make sure it doesn't matter if you look like a white mask, it really doesn't. You're going to be on the water, it's going to come off and, you know, people just don't care what they look like on holiday so much. So I would always, always protect first okay so i'm currently walking on my way to water skiing i've got my dr b sunglasses on i've got my upf 50 hat on <laughs> just to make sure that no uv hits my melasma and makes it worse <laughs> so um, i'm not sure if i can film while we're on the water but i will try Please. the weather looks quite calm today uh, hopefully it should be a fun day. So in case you're wondering where the kids are, they are both at Kids Club. <laughs> and I did try and take my daughter skiing, water skiing yesterday, and she hated it. Absolutely hated it. Um, cried the whole time, and so this time I thought I'd do it without her. <laughs> right, so I'm just about to break my fast. Um, and dig into this. The kids are off swimming and of course I'm putting my wall paint back on again. And I have to say this is probably not the most attractive I've looked to my husband <laughs> but, but he will appreciate this in the future. <laughs> so basically I'm literally layering this thing on all day long because I refuse to allow my melasma to worsen. <laughs> and the kids are basically having a ton of fun in the swimming pool. So I'm currently reading Thinking Fast and Slow and it 
honestly is incredible. I've learned so much from this book and I'm literally about 10% of the way in. My little Joshi is enjoying himself. <laughs> Okay, so um, I have just had my shower. I often get asked about my hair and how I do it. And what I do is after I've been in the sea all day and in the sun all day, it's really important to take care of your hair. So what I tend to do, I use this Black Caviar 12-in-1 um, hair cream, which is just a leave-in conditioner. Um, and then what I do is I just use this, which is Catwalk Curls Rock Amplifier. Um, and this literally just one pump and I just scrunch my curls in so that um, I don't need to use heat which is really important on holiday is the last thing you want to do is to use heat the other thing that I would highly recommend you do is obviously take care of the skin on your body too so after I have a shower when I'm in the shower I use oily Tim um, gel body gel and what that does is just literally just it's paraffin wax it just hydrates your skin it traps the water in your skin which is really important after a full day of sweating and just being really harsh to your skin okay so i'm just doing my makeup for the evening don't forget i have been white cast face all day so this is sort of my only time where i can actually you know put makeup on so what i'm doing right now is put, still putting on my spf 50 because it is still sunny outside it is 7 p.m um but I, at least this time i can go for my colored color science um which you know doesn't stick to the skin as heavily as zinc oxide uh, neutrogena does which is better for the daytime but it's nice to go under your makeup okay so my son has just entered the shot <laughs> You literally get no privacy on holiday. Next thing I'm doing is just popping on my Giorgio Armani number no. six luminous silk foundation. And just, I actually keep it really light on holiday. I don't tend to go to town too much. I'm just going to go in with my three benefit um, piece kit, which is just literally the easiest thing in the world to do just takes one second okay. i need to look in the mirror because i literally can't look that way at the same time can you see this and this happens when you've been sweating all day and you've blocked up your pores expect that <laughs> but like i said before i'd rather have a little pimple which is not really that much of a big issue compared to melasma. Melasma is what you call an issue. So again, it's so fast. I don't really take my makeup that seriously on holiday. <laughs> I'm just going to pop on some Ofra highlighter. Do you feel like it's all about the glow on holiday? My thing, Daddy, you're not good at doing my shower. So Daddy gave him a shower today and it the water went in Josh's eyes and Jashi, my little baby, is not very happy with Daddy right now. Are you Joshy? Yeah. Who's better at doing your shower? I actually feel like Daddy did this on purpose so that Mummy always has to do the shower. Mom, Mom Daddy did it on purpose. <laughs> no, he didn't. I'm just joking. No, Daddy did on purpose. He didn't. Okay, so I'm just popping on this primer from Urban Decay. Okay, so um, I'm just going to use a Charlotte Tilbury um, palette because it's so easy. So all you do is you just go in. I, you know what? I actually got told last time I did a video on makeup that you tap the brush Dr. V you do not blow it because you actually blow bacteria onto your brush isn't that so interesting okay so literally I'm gonna do this in 10 seconds oh god I just I just blew it again sorry okay I'm just use, using my finger gonna go in with the the lighter beige color and then I'm just going to go in with this just 
to darken the the corners of my eye and then I'm just going to go in with the highlighter color if you can see it is it even focusing <laughs> you can tell doing makeup on camera is definitely not my thing just going to pop on a little bit of offer onto my eyelid just because it's so um, golden um, I'm wearing yellow today so I just want to make it pop a little bit more. It's all about being gold or brown on holiday. <laughs> okay, so I've just done my top eyeliner, which I just use Shwing for. Um, I am loving James Charles palette at the moment. Look! I feel like if you just buy one palette, it's this one. It is, honestly, it's amazing. And for skin of color, the pigments are phenomenal so i'm just going to deepen a little bit in the corner so again see with the blowing tap doctor tap Look at how can we read this study hmm how can we read this read what like this thank you so i'm just going to go with the orange a tiny bit look at that such beautiful can color. you show me to read it just to blend a little bit so slight orange and then go straight a little bit into brown this was meant to be a two second eye <laughs> okay so i'm just going to do my lips which with huda beauty what's this called famous i always use vaseline as well especially on holiday your lips get so dry I've got to tell you at the beginning, I actually apply Cetra Burn to my face, obviously, of course, to hydrate my skin before I put the Color Science Sunblock on. So, this is Kylie Head Over Heels. So, it's a little bit purple. I'm just going to go over it with NYX Puff Powder. I just feel like it just makes it all a bit more neat and a bit more um, matte. Just gonna go really quickly with my Huda um, legit lashes. I've realized I've actually forgotten to bring a blush on this trip, so I'm just literally just gonna use this NYX puff and just puff it on my cheekbones just to give me a bit more color. I think that's pretty much it. You can see literally. All the kids toys in the background <laughs> so that's basically the look i've just put some earrings in and i've just laid myself some bangles so we are good to go <laughs>